Hi everyone, welcome to yoga with myself, Christina, at Lift Fit Yoga, and I have my beautiful model daughter in the back who's going to be actually our yogi today because I injured my shoulder. So you'll hear my voice. Go ahead and grab your phones today and turn on your music app and tune it into any type of yoga music of your choice. You can even log on to YouTube and search um, yoga music, specifically vinyasa yoga music. And we are actually going to be moving into a vinyasa format today, vinyasa flow. So we'll get started in child's pose at the back of your mat. Open your knees out nice and wide. Walk your feet into touch, reach your arms forward. Gently rest your forehead on your mat. Settle into the space as you feel your hips begin to expand. Notice that sensation at your inner thighs, that nice stretching sensation at your inner thighs. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And a full open mouth exhale. And again, a nice deep breath in. Open mouth exhale. On your next breath in, seal your lips. Begin to ignite your ujjayi pranayama breath. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out of your nose. Constrict your throat muscles. Drag the breath across your throat. Again, nice ujjayi inhale. And ujjayi exhale. And inhale, table top. Push up to your hands. Walk your legs in, hip width distance. Keep your spine nice and flat and long. Take a deep breath in. And then lengthen the crown of your head forward on the exhale. And inhale, cow pose. Press your belly down to your mat. Internally rotate your elbows. Lift your gaze. Good. Exhale, cat pose. Squeeze your belly nice and tight. Chin to chest. Good. Moving breath to movement. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Good. Once again, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. One more time. Inhale, cow pose. And exhale, cat pose. And inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, send your hips to the sky. And create that beautiful V shape, upside down V. Press your heart closer towards your quads and relax your head and chest. And you might see me in the video at times just adjusting. Press your heart towards your thighs. Good, and then pedal your dog out, bend into your knees, right, left, right, left. Good, relax your head. Really nice. And find stillness in your downward facing dog. Good, inhale, three-legged down dog, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, bend your knee, step your foot through. Good. Drop your back knee to your mat, inhale, crescent moon. Reach up through your hands. You can keep your back foot, the ball of the foot pressed into the mat, or you can tuck your toes under like Bella just did and sink deep into that knee. And feel free here to interlace all 10 fingers at your hamstring and push both hips forward as you lunge deeper into that crescent moon. And then squeeze your inner thighs together, engage your glutes. Nice deep breath in. Stay on the exhale. Good. Inhale, crescent moon. We'll reach up through both hands. Exhale, low lunge. Take your hands to your mat. Lift your back knee. Tuck your toes. Good. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Kick your right leg high. Exhale, down dog, and pedal it out. Yeah, adjust your hands accordingly. Good. Good. Find stillness in your down dog. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Lift your left leg. Drive through your heel. Exhale, low lunge. Pull your foot through, bend your knee, drop your knee, 
Tuck your toes, inhale, crescent moon. Reach up through both hands. Really nice. Relax your shoulders. Keep a slight micro bend in your elbows. Notice how she's a dancer. See what she's doing with her fingers? I love it. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, interlace all 10 fingers at your left quad. Press the palms of your hand into your leg. Push both hip points forward. Feel that deep sensation, deep stretch at the right hip flexor. And then squeeze your inner thighs together. Keep your glutes engaged as well as your lower belly to provide stability in your lunge. Deep breath in. And stay on the exhale. Good. Inhale, crescent moon. Release your arms to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Take your hands to your mat. Lift your knee. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Kick your left leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Nice job. Let's flow that breath to movement. Find stillness in your down dog. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Lift your right leg. Exhale, low lunge. Bend your knee. Make room for your foot. Drop your knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Reach up. Exhale, bind. Take your hand to your hamster, your quad. I keep getting the hamstring and the quad. Good. Sink deep. Good. Inhale, crescent moon. Reach up through both hands. Exhale, low lunge. Take your hands to your mat. Lift your knee. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Kick your right leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Nice job. Take a nice deep breath in as you find stillness. And deep breath out. Good. Come to stillness. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Lift your left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Drop your back knee. Inhale, crescent moon, reach up. Then exhale, bind, interlace all 10 fingers. Take your hand to your quad. Good, deep breath in. And stay on the exhale. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, low lunge. Hands to your mat, lift your knee, tuck your toes. Inhale, three-legged down dog, kick your left leg up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, high plank. Shift your body weight forward so shoulders stack over wrists. And press the soles of your feet and your heels back. You can separate your feet out hip width distance if that feels more comfortable. Beautiful plank. Squeeze your belly nice and tight. Feel that rounding of your shoulders. Hold and breathe for four, three, two. Lower down to your belly on one. Good. Untuck your toes. Bring your arms out to a T. And then bring your forehead to your mat. Inhale, locust, spine strengthening. Lift your arms and legs like you're flying. And lift your forehead as well. Good. Peel your shoulders away from your mat. Squeeze your glutes. Find strength in your back. Nice deep breath in. Deep breath out. Get another breath in. Exhale, bend your elbows. Take your hands into your mat. Release your feet to your mat. Bella, bend your elbows and then push up to your hands. Good. Tuck your toes. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good work. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, look forward to your hands. Exhale, ragdoll pose, Uttanasana. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. And then keep your feet nice and wide, at least hip width distance. Good. Bend your knees just a little bit. Grab opposite elbows. You can sway side to side. Relax your head. Take a look at your back wall as gravity pulls the crown of your head closer to your mat. Find stillness in your ragdoll pose. Release your fingertips to your mat. Walk your feet into a comfortable distance, hip width distance, or big toes can touch. Squeeze your belly nice and tight. Inhale, slowly rise on up. Exhale, equal standing pose, samastitihi. Bring your hands to prayer. Close your eyes. As you extend through your elbows, you can also tuck your chin down towards your heart space. Let's set intention for our practice. Our intention is our commitment, personal commitment to ourselves for our personal journey, a goal that can be brand new or something we've been working on for quite some time. 
Acknowledge where you're at. Acknowledge that intention, that goal, your personal why. Take a breath in as you fill up with your intention and deep breath out as you release it. Let it go. One more time. Fill up with your intention. Fill up your heart space. And exhale. Let it go. You're to release your hands by your sides. Blink your eyes open. Gaze forward. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Reach your arms above your shoulders and breathe. Feel rooted in your feet. Knit your lower ribs in. Squeeze your belly. You're lengthen through your fingertips. And then radiate your pinkies to the back of the wall to ignite your triceps. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, standing back bend. Bend your elbows. Squeeze your glutes to protect your lower back. Lift out of your heart. Kiss your shoulder blades together. Good. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach up. Exhale, standing forward fold. Either swan dive or connect your hands. Bend at your waist. Hang nice and heavy. Release your hands to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to the front of your legs. And then breathe. Beautiful halfway lift. Now just shift weight into your toes. Good. That'll fire up your hamstrings. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, squat and curl. Bring your hands to your mat. Lift your heels. Hug your inner thighs together. Make a teeny tiny ball as you round your shoulders and back. Draw your chin into your heart space. Really nice. And then release your heels to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Reset your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Let's move breath to movement. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Rise up. Nice and tall. Exhale, back bend. Bend your elbows. Squeeze your glutes. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat and curl. And you can stay as you are or you may capture opposite elbows for a balance challenge, either one. And if you've taken the balance challenge, release your hands to your mat, drop your heels, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up nice and tall. Exhale, standing back bend, squeeze your glutes, lift out of your heart. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, reset your spine, shift weight into your toes. Good. Exhale, squat and curl. Nice job. Good. Balance challenge if you'd like it. It is optional. Re-release your hands to your mat. If you've taken balance challenge, release your feet to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Nice work. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, bend your knees, reach your arms to the sky and breathe. Shift your weight back into your heels. Press energy out of the edges of your feet to fire up your glutes. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, chair plane arms. Sweep your arms behind you. Face your palms in. Engage your chest by pressing your hands together just a little bit closer. Really nice. Inhale, chair pose. Reach up. Exhale, chair plane. Good job. One more time. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair plane. Good. Inhale, mountain pose. Straighten your knees. Reach up. Exhale, standing back bend. Open up your heart. Good. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Good. Hold your high plank. Option to move into Chaturanga if you'd like. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, high to mid plank. Bend your elbows lower to your low push up. Really nice. Inhale, upward facing dog or high cobra. Bella's taking high cobra. Press your heart forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Flip your toes and your hips to the sky. Nice work. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Lift your right leg high. All right, we've been here before. Exhale, low lunge. Bend your knee. This time, inhale, crescent lunge on Johnny Asana. Keep your knee lifted. Good. Reach up to the sky and breathe here. Squeeze your inner thighs together. 
Good. Keep your shoulders over your hips. Press your left hip forward, right hip get back. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Open up to the side wall. Keep your right knee exactly as it is. Step your back foot way back. And then take internal rotation, slight internal rotation of your back foot. Internal rotation. There it is. Good. Awesome. Good. Front heel to back heel alignment. Adjust your feet accordingly. Be sure your back leg is nice and straight. Reach your arms out to a T and then gaze past your front hand. Pull your kneecap out towards your pinky toe. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, bend deeper into that front knee. Find your edge. Beautiful. Inhale, reverse warrior with the depth in that knee. Reach up and back. Slide your back hand down your thigh. Beautiful side body stretch. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga, hands to your mat, or high plank to down dog. You may skip the low push-up. Good. Inhale, upward facing dog or high cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reset with your breath. Nice deep breath in. And deep breath out. Nice work, Bella. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Lift your left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Good. Inhale, crescent lunge. Stack shoulders over hips and breathe. Be sure all ten toes point forward. Keep your biceps next to your ears. Wrap your left hip back, right hip forward to square the hips off. Slight micro bend to your back knee. Slight little micro bend. There it is. Good. Carve your tailbone under as you bend deeper into that left knee. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, warrior two. With your right foot and knee exactly as it is, step your back leg way back. Take internal rotation of that back knee. Once you find that nice comfortable position between your feet, front heel to back heel alignment, that's beautiful. And then actively draw your kneecap out towards that knife edge of your foot. Stay engaged through your inner thighs. Reach through both arms. And turn your head so you're gazing past your fingertips, front fingertips. Full breath in. Exhale, bend just a little bit deeper into your knee. Oh, yeah, yeah, just bend deeper. That's okay. Bend deeper. Woo. Good. One more inhale. And stay on the exhale with your knee bent. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach up and back. Slide your back hand down your thigh. Beautiful side body stretch on the left. Full breath in. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Windmill your hands to your mat. Step your left leg back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Nice work. Let's flow that breath to movement. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Travel to the top of your mat. Step hopper, jump it forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, chair pose. Utkatasana, bend your knees. Frame your biceps to your ears. Reach out of your fingertips. Exhale, chair plane arms. Keep your knees. Reach your arms behind you. Good. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair plane. Good. Inhale, mountain pose. Straighten both legs. Reach up. Exhale, standing back bend. Good. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or high cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and stay on the exhale. But inhale, three-legged down dog, lift your right leg. Exhale, low lunge. But inhale, crescent lunge. Squeeze your inner thigh, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, warrior two. Seal your back foot down. Keep that knee as it is. Adjust the positioning of your feet. Reach your arms out to a T. Good job. Inhale, reverse warrior with your front knee bent. Reach it up and back. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or high cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Lift your left leg. 
Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Good job. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, child's pose. Drop to your knees, open your knees out wide. Take a break, a quick, quick, quick little break, and then you can grab your water. Nicely done, nicely done. Good, take your water break. Good job, good job. We're gonna take that through again, adding on, and then we'll move into a little bit of balancing. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna eliminate chair pose at the beginning. Inhale, three-legged down dog, lift your right leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Good, inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach towards the front of your space. Lengthen your arms. Tick tock your arms. And then bring your forearm just behind that forearm, just below your elbow to your inner thigh. Reach up through your top hand. Carve your tailbone under. Find that space in your left side body. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Good, inhale, reverse triangle, reach up and back, straighten your front knee, similar to reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, catch your breath, full breath in. Stay on the exhale. Inhale, three-legged down dog, lift your left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Lengthen your top hand forward. Bring your elbow to your inner thigh. Reach your back arm up. Awesome. You can rest your bottom elbow and bend it or use that elbow to press into your inner thigh. Find length through your top hand, length through your right side body, carve your tailbone under, press evenly into both feet. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Nice breath. Inhale, reverse triangle, reach up and back, straighten your front knee. Enjoy that side body stretch from your hip all the way up your side body. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So great. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, tree, or rather, exhale, dancers on the right. Bend your right elbow and your right knee. Kick your heel up to your booty. Take your hand to inside your right foot, inside your right foot. Yes, good. So shine your wrist. Yeah, there it is. Good. Shine your wrist towards the side. Perfect. Good. And then press your inner thighs together here. So keep your knees nice and square. Find strength in your standing leg. You can take a soft micro bend to that left knee. Breathe in as you reach up. And then exhale, you can kick back or you can stay exactly as you are. You may stay exactly as you are, just focusing on balance. If you'd like to move into a deeper posture, then you can reach forward and kick back with your right leg. Really nice. Bella's focusing on strengthening here. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, Samastitihi. Release your foot down to your mat. Connect your hands at heart center. 
Good job. And then cha cha out your knees, right, left, right, left. Beautiful. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, dancer is on the left. Keep your right arm as it is. Bend your left elbow and your left knee. Shine your wrist to the side wall. There it is. Good. And take the inside of your foot. You can breathe in and stay. And as you breathe out, just stay as you are, focusing on strengthening that standing leg. Be sure your hips are nice and square. Yeah, good. Rotate your right hip forward, left hip back. There it is. Good. Or you can kick into dancer's pose. Full expression of dancers, creating that beautiful back bend. Or stay exactly as you are. Now, Bella is a dancer, and I love how she's not moving into it. She does have full expression in dancers, but this just goes to show you that just because your body has the capability of doing something, you have to honor what it is that you're feeling in that moment. In this moment, she feels like she wants to stay in layer one. And that's great. Always acknowledging. So this whole Instagram yoga thing of creating these shapes with our bodies, it doesn't always have to look like that. We can just hold our power poses and not get into full expression of certain poses. And I love that. Just being authentic to oneself. Good. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach it up. Exhale, samastitihi. Nice job. cha out your knees. Beautiful work. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank chaturanga. It's our last chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Now let's move into hips. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Lift your right leg. Exhale, half pigeon. Bring your knee to your right wrist. Bring your shin as forward as you possibly can. Drop your back knee to your mat. Good. Square off your hips as much as you can. Really nice. And then walk your hands further back towards your hips. You can stay exactly here, or you can sleep your pigeon, bending at your waist, releasing your forehead or your arms to your mat. Really nice. If you have any pain in your knees in this pose, take supine figure four on your back. Focus on your breath. Staying present as you possibly can. Good. Inhale, push up to your hands. Lift your forehead off your mat. Exhale, lift your back knee. Tuck your toes. Good. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Use that strength. Kick your leg up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Paddle it out, cha-cha out your knees. Inhale, three-legged down dog, lift your left leg. Exhale, half pigeon, bring your knee to your left wrist. Walk your shin as forward as you can. One day, maybe that shin becomes parallel with that top edge of your mat. Maybe not. That's beautiful. Square off your hips. Drop your back knee through the top of your foot, ground down. Walk your hands back towards your hips. Sit up nice and tall. Nice deep breath in and stay on the exhale or sleep your pigeon. Bend at your waist, release your forehead to your mat. Your forearms can also come down to your mat. Bring your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Inhale, push up, lift your forehead. Exhale, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Use the strength of your arms to kick. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good job. Walk your big toes into touch. Drop down to your knees. And come to standing on your knees. Stack your shoulders over your knees. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Bring your hands to your lower back. 
Squeeze your elbows in to expand across your chest. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, camel pose, back bend. Push your hips forward, lift out of your heart, full expression. You'll take your hands to your Achilles or keep your hands as they are still hugging your elbows in towards one another. Continue to breathe in this pose. Very nice. And slowly straighten out your spine. Restack shoulders over hips. Have a seat on your heels. And take your hands to your quads, to the top of your legs. Sit up tall. Close your eyes. Catch your breath. That's a huge heart opener. So we'll just slowly take our time catching our breath. Nice job. Blink your eyes open. Release your hands by your sides. And then have a seat on your glutes. Kick your legs off to either side. Extend your legs nice and long in front of you. Sit up tall. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Paschimottanasana. Reach forward. Surrender. Bring your forehead as close to your shins or knees as you can. Round your shoulders. Stretch out your hamstrings. Bend your knees as much as you'd like. very slowly begin to straighten your spine stack your shoulders over your hips as you come up to a seat good job reach your arms forward and slowly slowly release your spine to your mat squeeze your belly in tight as you lower down one vertebrae at a time and once you lower down so that your head is at your mat you can inch your way forward a little bit yeah come on down really nice Good. Bend your knees and with your legs at hip width distance, walk your heels to your glutes as close as you can. And lengthen your arms. Inhale, bridge pose. Lift your hips. Good job. Press into your upper back and shoulders. Take a deep breath in and stay on the exhale. Good. One more breath in. Exhale, recline, bound angle pose. Release your glutes to your mat. Butterfly out your knees. Press the soles of your feet together. Open up your inner thighs. Good job. Nice deep breath in. And deep breath out. And inhale, hug your knees to your rib cage. Give yourself a squeeze. Exhale, happy baby. Pull your knees out to outside your ribcage. Flex your feet. Capture the insides or outsides of your feet. Pull the soles of your feet down to the earth. Be sure your shoulders stay rooted to your mat. You may stay here or rock side to side, massaging your spine, little spine massage, or take a ninja kicking baby, straighten one leg, then the opposite leg. Find stillness in your happy baby. Inhale, hug your knees in. Exhale, place both feet on your mat. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, supine figure four. Bend your knee out and take your ankle to your quad. Send this knee away from you and feel free here to lift your left leg up off of your mat, creating an L shape, and then pull your left thigh towards you. Good job. Nice hip opener. Inhale, hug your knees back through center. Neutralize your spine. Exhale, place both feet on your mat. Good. Inhale, lift your left leg. 
Exhale, supine figure four. Connect your outer ankle. <laughs> Connect your outer ankle at your thigh. Really nice. Good. That's the new one for her. Look at how great she did. Awesome. Send your left knee away from you as you pull your right thigh towards you. So you're sending that away and then pulling. That's going to really intensify the stretch at that outer glute. Feel that? Yeah. She says, yeah, she feels it. Those little, little customizations, those tiny little changes that produce amazing results. Inhale, hug your knees back through center. Give yourself a squeeze. Nice hug. Exhale, release your left leg long. Keep your right knee as it is. Give that shin a nice squeeze. Take a full breath in. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your leg across your body. And then reach your right arm long. Twisting at your thoracic spine from your armpit down, maybe down into your IT band. You can close your eyes for the duration of class if that is what's calling to you. This is our last stretch before Shavasana, final resting pose. Inhale, pull your knees back through center. Exhale, release your right leg long. So take your hands to your shin, give your knee a squeeze, half wind removing. Exhale, supine twist, guide your leg across your body. Extend your left arm long, gaze to that left hand. Your eyelids can be shut down. Feel that nice sensation from your armpit down the thoracic, side spine, oblique down into the hip, out through your IT band down the knee. Inhale, pull your knees through center. Exhale, give yourself a nice big giant hug. Squeeze, bring your forehead as close to your knees as you possibly can. Tense up, small little ball. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, Shavasana, surrender to your mat. Extend your arms and legs, narrow or long, with your eyes closed. Find your meditative pace of breath. Breathing deeply, finding stillness in your physical body, stillness and quiet in your mind. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Remove any type of tension in your forehead, your jaw. And enjoy your two-minute Shavasana.
All right, my friends, if you'd like to stay in final resting pose, by all means, stay as long as you'd like. If you feel ready to move on with your eyes closed, begin to rub the pads of your fingers together. Begin to circle out your wrists. Wiggle your toes. Invite movements to your ankles, your elbows. Rotate your legs out and in. And move your chin from right to left, left to right. Good, feel free to take wall to wall stretch if you'd like or roll on to your favorite side for fetal pose, bend your knees. Use your shoulder as a pillow for your ear if you'd like. And when you feel ready, gently press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Have a seat on your glutes or on your heels. With your eyes closed, bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Sit up as tall as you can. Then elevate your thumbs to your forehead. Uh, the highest in us, Bella and I see the highest in each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here, for your energy, for this opportunity to guide you through your practice. And we humbly bow to you from our hearts to yours. Namaste. Good job. Thank you.